what happens when you become the subject of a viral meme? What happens when you wake up one day to find your face plastered all over the internet? Someone might take a picture of you smiling in a strange way, or you might fall asleep whilst at the theatre, or you might ask a question at a 2016 presidential debate whilst wearing a red knitted sweater. What steps will your energy policy take to meet our energy needs? And that's it. That's all it takes to become a viral meme. The internet needs nothing more to change your life in an instant. For better, or for more commonly, worse. In the first couple of weeks of the meme thing, I had people dig up my phone number and my social security number and my address. I had to contact the police many times because uh, mm -hmm. somebody would call me from some you know, voice over IP scrambled number so we couldn't trace it back. And they would have a voice uh, modulator on their microphone and they would just start reading me my social security number or they would read me my address and then they'd say, see you tonight. I mean, like, you can offend anyone. Anyone on the internet is like, the internet's, I mean, it's now a public good, really. Um, and it, the, everyone, everyone exists on the internet. And so I think, and if you put your, definitely if you, if you put your head out there, you, you can, yeah, you can have memes made about you. Um, I think targeting particular people or particular types of people taps into a set of attitudes which have always been in society, um, which have been kind of judgments on and representatives, representative of particular social attitudes, such as people who are overweight. And we have to see that in the context of a form of communication. In other words, it's not the meme that's itself, that's just the kind of mechanism. Um, it's that a certain group or that a certain person has been targeted. We call it bullying, um, and there are other words for it. It's a particular social action that certainly memes can be put to or be part of.